What's going on guys? I take everything here from GumballTech.com and JawsIphone.com and today I have a very very nice looking um, software review software review for you guys. This software is called Screen ScreenFlow 3.0 for the Mac. This is a very nice program that allows you to record your screen or desktop right from where you are and also um, record your face with it as well as you can see from here. That was a test one I did a while ago. So with the new ScreenFlow 3.0 update, they added a lot of new features, um, which involves new export settings, new audio settings, um, annotations, a lot of different things from ScreenFlow 2, version 2. Um, if you're a ScreenFlow user, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, let's just jump right into it. So the first new feature I'd like to go over is uh, video properties. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click this video right here on my screen. And as you can see, I can like easily um, scale to what size I want for the particular video whether I wanted to maximize on it or to uh, zoo, uh, to um, minimize yeah that was the word so I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, you can also um, scale your video using the exhortation and as shown right here I might make it to zero again or use the Y rotation Or use the Z rotation. Very nice. Now I can also um, change the past to the opacity levels whether I want it to be lighter or, dar or darker. And also I can I can also show the reflection of a video. For example, I'm gonna click this one. I can show the reflection right there. You see there's nice reflection. And also uh, increase the shadow in the background of that video. You see right there where I want the shadow to be at which degree I don't want and I can change the color of the shadow as well right there yellow and I can also uh, put the offset how um, large I want the shadow to be and also uh, how light and how dark I want the shadow to be by adjusting the opacity and also how blurred the shadow I want the shadow to be it looks pretty good and uh, I can also um, disable the shadow if I want it to, or the reflection as well. Uh, I can also change the saturation of this using uh, color settings like in Final Cut Pro or iMovie. That and the brightness as well, as well as the contrast to make the movie looks look even better. Now to add a video property, all you gotta do is uh, click Add Video Action right Action right here, and uh, I do whatever you want. So this is the these are the changes that would take place after you add the video action. So I'm gonna um, increase my video here to this amount, and I'm gonna use the Y rotation, make it like that, and the Z rotation, like that, and also add some reflection and shadow right there. I'm also gonna change the saturation a little bit, and the brightness and contrast, and that should do it. And you can see when you play it. Yeah. You saw the video, right? You saw how the action took place a while ago. Yeah, yeah that's basically all the video action I did. And if you want to undo everything you just did, just hit the Command Z, and uh, should be good to go. The video action tab disappeared a while ago. Let's go ahead and take a look at the audio properties. They changed a lot of this in Screenflow 3, Screen 3.0. You can adjust the volume now. I didn't, uh, that was already in, bait in, 3 .0, in screen flow 2.0. You can see the audio levels right there. Changes. Keep it 100%. You can also add ducking, which means your your audio from the beginning would like, um, yeah, basically right there. Ducking across the volume of other active audio clips in the timeline to reduce when sounds not detected in the selected clip. So uh, I'll just give you an example right now. You can see that it just changed 
the, the audio lines. Like for example, when there's no audio in a specific area of your video, it would duck it. For example, it will like increase the volume depending on which one you want right here or decrease. You can also mute, mute the audio. And uh, this is the one of the new things with Screenflow 3.0 where you can smooth volume levels. Like over here, you, you notice that um, all the volume levels are really jittery and uh, not like in proportion. And some of your audio levels can get way too high and you can get over, um, like you strain uh, your listener's ears. So you can easily just smooth volume levels right there. As you can see, everything is now like, in proportion and uh, almost exactly the same amount of, of audio. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. <laughs> and you can also mix your input to mono. I never tested that, but you know, um, if you're just a normal user, you probably will never use that. And uh, the effect you can also change the kind of audio. Like, for example, if you're in a presence, which is now, or a small room, small room, EQ, plate, media room, media hall, etc. I'm trying to uh, give you a nice large hall effect, and you can change the amount of how 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 much the effect will take place. So right now, I'm going to show you. This is test, test one. You can hear the echo right there. For example, if you're in a large room, the echo will be like really loud. Um, change the amount to 100%. Let's see how the echo works. work. Test one for the screen. The echo got louder. That's basically the effect. I mean, you can disable any really. Next, the next up is um, next feature is remove background noise. For example, you know, for example, uh, ah, so if you're using like um, your max audio. Uh, mic is not that good. I mean, like, yeah, you can hear a lot of background and the background noise. And with this filter, you can easily remove them. Just, just a click, and you can change the amount of uh, removal you want. You, you know, you do notice that the audio um, background noise changed a lot compared to uh, now. Test run for the screen flow. And when I apply remove background noise, you can hear the good uh, mass difference in this. Just run for the screen flow, software review. Sounds much better than before. So those of you that want to save money on getting an external mic if you make videos on YouTube, this is a very great program, a really good program that will allow you to customize your sounds, your audio quality. I actually prefer this program and Final Cut Pro X when it comes to audio quality and audio settings. The next up is screen recording properties where you can add um, you show your mouse pointer, um, which is basically your mouse right there. You can see that it disappears. See the mouse over here? It disappears, and I just enable it again. Pointer zoom is basically you increase the how your mouse looks like. Very nice feature there. How small, how large your mouse, you want your mouse to be. Click effect. So basically, whenever you click on a on your screen, it gives a nice little flash there to uh, show your your viewers that. To focus on that particular object, I'm gonna click radar here for a sec. Right there, you see the red dot. Uh, I didn't really click that much in this video, but this is you get the picture. Um, when I click invert, let's see. you can see that the the mouse uh, flash right there. Hold on. Right there, you saw the white color. The mouse turned white over there. Yeah. Uh, I'm done. And choose the pointer size as well. Whether I want it to be circle, square, or choose an image. Uh, I'll choose, I like default because I like the uh, Mac mouse. Then you can change the opacity levels whether you want it transparent or not. Right there. And uh, you can also add a sound when you click and choose the volume one and choose your own sound as well. And, also, and you can also uh, show your keys pressed. Um, when you press your key on a keyboard, it will play like a little tiny annotation there and uh, show modifier keys when press. Oh, one more thing in the uh, audio I just remembered. When you filter, when you click the remove background noise, for example, when you're typing on your Mac, um, you know on ScreenFlow 2.0, you used to hear all those keyboard noises when you type on your Mac. Now when you click remove background noise, you wouldn't hear that keyboard noise anymore, so it makes your video more elegant and nice to hear. Next up is Kella properties. Uh, not sure uh, whether this is work or not. Um, yeah, okay, there. The camera basically it basically allows allows you to blur everything you have and focus your focus what you want to show your audience on your with your mouse. So as you can see from the video right now, everything turns black and what you're trying to focus on your mouse right there. And you can change the um, settings here in foreground window, which means that 
everything is just black with no uh, mouse cursor freehand which means you can draw your own um, callout for example I'm going to draw right here as you can see only that part is has turned white you can change whether you want it square or circle or the size of your brush different mouse cursor and you can change the opacity levels of the dark side you can see right there and I, I can also add the blur whether you blur the background right there and I can also change the zoom up whether I want the um, part that I'm focusing to be zoomed and I can also change the border of the mouse cursor which is very nice indeed and I can also change the outline of this little circle right here I'm not sure if that's working or not <laughs> uh, right there you, can, you, can, you gotta increase the pixels so you're sure the outline right there and you can also um, oops, uh, add a shadow for it there you can see there's a nice shadow right there Make the okay. You can see that shadow is right there. You can also change the feather of it, increase the shadow thickness. And if you want to take out the catalog, just easily press Control Z, Command Z, and uh, everything should go back to normal after a while. Okay. That's basically the catalog properties. Now, one of the best features of Screenflow 3.0 is the annotations properties, which will allow you to add annotations like on YouTube and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add, a, add an annotation clip. So as you can see, a nice annotation bar right there. You can add an uh, arrow, a straight line, a square with fills in it, or just a blank square or a circle. Change the color right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line to focus where I am trying to focus. Change the color right now to red. red, And uh, change the thickness of this arrow as well. I prefer this size and you can add a shadow and the outline will be uh, depending on what color you choose I prefer black and you can change the thickness of the outline you can also change the endpoints of this um, for example the on the left this is how your endpoint looks like it's like square right there you can also change it to another arrow you know all these, all these options and uh, the right hand side you can also change this this way and so you, you, can, you can easily uh, just switch your arrow around so you don't have to click adding keep on adding new um, arrows if you make a mistake and which one you choose that's very nice indeed love that new feature good job ScreenFlow and uh, that's basically annotations now you can also add text to this like an iMovie or Final Cut Pro X uh, text box right there and you can also change the font of this I like DealSense matches ScreenFlow text right there you can also change the size of this and uh, I think you gotta highlight it and change the size of it. there right there you can also change the alignment where you want it center, left or right you need more text in order to, show, to make that work add a fill, you can choose your own image or uh, a gradient right there and uh, choose the color you want right now which is red uh, I prefer a solid color then you're gonna highlight everything again, and uh, if you don't want a fill, you can just easily uncheck it or whatever you want. Outline, you can add outline right there. I'm gonna make the outline yellow, and uh, you can increase the thickness of the outline. Okay, you can also add a backdrop, which is basically that black background in the back, solid color, and image fill. Fill, you can choose your own image right there. And uh, if you don't want a solid backdrop, then you can easily just um, remove the backdrop right there or change the color. Red. Or, uh, and you can change the uh, thickness of this backdrop right here. You can also add a margin to this. You can change the margin size right there. And uh, again, if you don't want a text box, you can just easily press Command Z for a very long time and should go back to normal or you can just delete this right there and uh, there's basically text and this is a media in your document where you can add media from and you can record and add media from different videos in your computer and just drop it into your timeline right here and uh, boom you're good to go you can also add a recording which is basically just an audio file and that's basically all the features for our screen for 3.0 let me get to the layout of this basically uh, this is where you can easily crop your um, uh, video, you see you can, uh, you can adjust your canvas space, stamp to front window, window reset, cancel or apply, and this is where you 
the basic functionalities, um, previous play or forward, and uh, that's where your audio uh, levels come in. You see in the right hand bar right there. Yep. And uh, the bottom is all your videos. And you can adjust the size of your video so you can increase or decrease depending on what you want. And also this natively works on Lion as well. So you can see there's the full screen button right here. I'm gonna go to full screen. It works perfectly fine. I love it. And also, um, they added the new resume feature in OS X Lion. For example, if your power shuts down your iMac or um, any other Mac you have, you can easily resume when you left off in your previous project. Um, even if you didn't save it, it automatically saves everything for you. Yeah. And that's basically the layout of this. Um, let's get to the export settings and the publish settings right now. So when you go hit file, one of the new features, now you can you can publish to Vimeo now, directly to Vimeo. Last time you can um, upload it to YouTube or Flash, and now you can publish it to Vimeo. Um, edit, nothing else, just basic uh, functions. Uh, and that is basically it. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at the export, export settings for this. Um, so I'm going to go change it to test.mov. And you can uh, customize your preset. I'm gonna customize this video right here. I like I like H.264 because that's the basic. Um, um, sorry about that. That is the basic compression type for your YouTube videos. If you do YouTube videos or web videos, I like to keep the frame rate at current and keyframes automatic. These are very basic settings for your export settings. Uh, data rate and uh, comp you can change your quality to least or best. Very nice there. You can change including the best quality or faster encode. And also uh, for the sound, you can change different kind of sound settings. AAC, which is basically the YouTube uh, thing format, and you can change your KHZ. You show advanced settings right here, best settings or average bit rate, target bit rate, and you can preview the sound as well. And prefer for internet streaming, fast start. Very nice right there. You can also add um, change export your video into the uh, you'll copy down to copy down to the iPad format so you can view your video on the iPad, iPhone, Apple TV, or the iPod. That's very nice indeed. Um, you can also manage your presets right here. You can also add a custom preset or just copy whichever preset you want and set it set it as your default. Your dimensions go change your dimensions of the video, scale it by whatever size you want, and uh, scale the custom size. By pixels, letterbox content, and use motion blur, which is very nice indeed. So, guys, this is basically my full review and full demo of Screenflow 3.0. I covered everything there is to know about Screenflow Screenflow 3.0, and you can see the and uh, yeah, I was about to say you can see the quality in this video right here. I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how the video looks. It's very nice indeed. Um, quality in, on Screenflow is just perfect. I love it. Gorgeous program. So the price is um, $99 for the program itself and uh, $29 we're upgrading for from Screenflow 2.0 to Screenflow 3.0. It's actually a pretty high price but I am actually comfortable with the price right now because um, it's perfect for it for this and you can check the video quality right now. It's very nice. And I will see you guys in the next one. Well, yeah. This is test, test run for the Screenflow. Software review.